Well, included among the many outstanding exhibits here at Club and Angle is the one that pays tribute to the pioneer women of harness racing. Those who have set the scene for those to follow as far as administration, trainers and drivers, and sometimes a combination of all three. Well, I'm about to be joined by the lady who is now setting the scene for a new generation of trainer and drivers as far as the women are concerned. Victoria's leading trainer, one of Australia's greats, Emma Stewart. Well, Emma, it's great to catch up with on Group 1 night here at Club Menangle. As I mentioned, all these wonderful ladies before you have inspired new generations. With your position in harness racing, the success you've had, you are now inspiring another generation. Yeah, I hope so. You know, it's, it's a great sport to be involved in and it's sort of, I've never had an issue sort of battling up against the men. You know, everything's sort of, I've been treated fairly and everything um, is treated sort of as equals. So um, I've never had an issue there and it's sort of a great sport for women to get involved in. On that particular subject, Emma, the fact that now on the eastern side of Australia, Queensland, we have Chantelle Turpin doing wonderful things here at Club and Angle, Belinda McCarthy, Carrie Ann Morris, Amanda Turnbull, Victoria, along with yourself, there's Julie Douglas, of course, Kate Gath, Jodie Quillen, the list goes on. Yeah, it does. You know, when you sort of go through the names, there's a lot of uh, females, like, excelling in the sport. And I think that just goes to show you how even the sport is and, and how um, great a sport it is to get involved in if you're a woman. Emma, how did you get involved in harness racing and who inspired you? I'm sort of family and I went I went through university and we had a, a sandwich year where we could go out and work and I went and worked for Peter Manning and sort of he's sort of been my inspiration and most of our training is sort of based on his um, methods and at the time he was flying when we were there and um, you know he, he taught me pretty much everything that we go by now and we've tweaked a few little things but um, yeah, he's definitely uh, the one who's inspired me the most. And I mean you've just tweaked my memory too because we have to mention Karen Manning who has certainly been a trendsetter. Yeah for sure you know she's been a great driver you know uh, through the years and she's she's always been sort of um, an inspiration to, to female drivers so she does a terrific job. I and mean, when we speak of some of the power players that have gone before you in harness racing we speak of Bobby Vin Knight of course more recently Mark Purden, Natalie Rasmussen these days we talk about Emma Stewart and Clayton Tonkin. <laughs> Yeah, sort of to be mentioned in, in the, the ranks of, the, of those guys, you know, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. And, you know, we have huge respect for Mark and Natalie. You know, they do a super job. So uh, we're sort of always vying to be competitive against them. And yeah, well, there seems to be an endless production line of wonderful horses coming from the stable. How many horses do you have in work at any one particular time? And the training routine? So I've normally got about 80 horses sort of in at once and sort of we don't turn over a hell of a lot of horses. We generally have them through yearling sales right and through uh, till they sort of hit their grade. So there's not a high turnover of um, horses, but sort of we like to get our hands on them pretty early and um, sort of get them right mentally as much as physically. So it's, we're just consistent work and sort of just trying to keep them calm most of the time. Talking about calm, you should be used to winning Group 1 events to be here tonight with the Group 1 event. How are you as far as your attitude is concerned? Is it cool, calm and collected? Yeah, no, no, pretty pretty cool, calm. Um, I think the last kid out before we come up to, to a Group 1 sort of where you get a bit nervous and so once you get through the workout and everything goes good, you know, you can't change anything. The fact that you've won so many awards and Group 1s, the fact that you are now inspiring ladies into the sport, that must be rewarding in itself. Yeah, for sure. And, and you see a lot more females sort of entering the sport because um, they realise that they, they can compete in the sport. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to see, and, and especially uh, the young trainers. So I think the women have got a pretty bright future. And as far as you and Clayton are concerned, you train the best horses going around these days. You also look to occupy the sulky with the best drivers going around, of course, the late, great Gavin Lang, to name one, Chris Alford, Greg Sugars, Kate Gath, as the list goes on, on Jodie Quinlan. These days you have Nathan Jack and Mark Pitt both back from an enforced layoff driving superbly, so you train the best and you want the best handling of the reins. Yeah, for sure. You know, we're big on uh, weight for drivers, so we do like the girls driving because they're, they're light and they're kind to the horses and, and Mark's also small, so uh, we sort of we believe in that like pretty strongly. So, and and Nathan's, you know, he's not as light as Mark, but uh, he's tactically a great driver. So, um, you know, we try to have the best on to get the best results. As far as the driving is concerned, uh, these days with Nathan and Mark, uh, both are driving in superb touch. And Mark mentioned the fact that he appreciated your loyalty uh, more than anything else. Yeah, for sure. You know, we believed in Mark right from the get go, and before we had to 
to spend some time on the sidelines. You know, we were always going to get him back. And the same goes for Nathan. You know, we've always supported him. So uh, they've been good to us. So we'll be good to them. When it comes to races of this nature, do you tie your drivers down with instruction or you just let them do their thing? No, never really give instructions. You know, mostly the horses are owned by different connections. So the connections sort of choose their driver that they're com uh, comfortable with and they sort of go through the race with them. But there's no sort of set plans and sort of, you know, you don't want to ruffle anyone's feathers. And Emma, you've got some stable stars here tonight. As far as the other stable stars, what can we expect over the next weeks and months? Um, Honolulu Bay, Ladies in Red, Tough Tilly, um, they're all sort of on the way back and they'll be heading towards the better races towards the end of the year. We've got another couple of nice additions to the stable. Um, Captain Ravishing, he's, an, he's one to look out for in the derbies. And our two-year-olds are also coming back in. So, um, you know, we've got some great fillies and we've got a great crop of two-year-old colts this year. So, no, um, the better horses are, are up and about and nearly ready to come out. Must be looking forward to the Inter-Dominion Carnival. Yeah, especially at home, you know, we've got a couple of live chances this year and sort of it's a race we've always sort of won a fair few heats in and semis but sort of never snagged a final, so uh, fingers crossed we can do it at home. And what about emerging stars? Um, oh, it's hard to tell really. I think uh, I think the best two-year-old colt I've got is a colt called the Lost Storm. He's only had one start for one win and, and you'll see him run through the big size and the breeder's crown, so he's definitely one to keep an eye out for. What about an interest outside of Harlem Do you have time? No, don't have time at all. So, no, nah, it's horses sort of 24-7. And I think if you're going to sort of try to be the best, you have to sort of focus solely on that. So uh, not many interests outside that. And, Emmy, you're here with your lovely daughter, Willow. And, Willow, are you going to be a harness racing trainer like Mum? Yes. You must be very proud of what Mum does. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, Emma? Uh, seven. And what, what school do you go to? Pleasant Street Primary School. Do you like school? Yeah. You'd be good at school and... Then you can help mum. <laughs> I hope to see you in a few years' time. Hey, tr training winners, just like mum, well, Emma, great to catch up with you. Congratulations on what you've ex you've, the success you've had in harness racing and look forward to you inspiring more ladies into the sport. No worries at all. Thank you very much.